Here we go. <laughs> What's up, guys? So they got a new Apex Alliance. Good, good, like Evolution Collection. Okay, let's see what this shit's all about. My speakers are too close to the mic. I'm not using my headset because I don't give a fuck. Ooh, a white raven. You know, that means something. I gotta check that out. Evolution Collection. Oh, watch out! <laughs> Ah, oh, what's this dumbass music? What the hell's up with race skin? It looks ugly. It's like cotton candy. Ugh. He They took the numbers off. What a bunch of dicks. Ha! Ah, you missed! Bullshit, you missed! Excuse me? Don't you know I'm a bloody artist? <laughs> Come for the oh, gun. shut up. Damn. What's <laughs> <laughs> Lifeline doing? Kissing him? Let's have fun, friends. Oh, wow. Dang, looks ugly. Get a discount for all you loyal customers. Nemesis RPG? Did you guys see that? Hell oh, yeah, she can walk around with her. Fuck yeah, finally. Nice. Oh shit. So much broth. This prowler is ill of Ooh. Okay, we gotta talk about fucking Wraith here. Why does Wraith look like a fuck knockoff of Black of Widow? Black Widow from fucking. She's clearly a knockoff of Black Widow. I, I, I'm telling you, you see it. And right here. God, this music is horrible, man. Who fucking thinks... Look at... See? Nemesis Burst AR. What the fuck is that? That has to be a new weapon leak accidentally, right? Fucking... I'm for real. Look at this. Oh, shit. Insane. Nemesis Burst AR. Why would we need another burst rifle? But then again, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you need another burst rifle? You already got two of them. One of them is good close combat. The other one is good mid range. That's fucking dumb. Let's see. There's Fuse's outfit. Eh, it's all right. What the hell is up with Bangalore? Like that's fucking ugly. Come on, how are you gonna do our, our girl Bangalore shit like that? What the fuck? Why am I at 1080p or 720p? What the fuck? Yeah, look at that. Bangalore is horrible. I mean, it'd be cool if her face wasn't ugly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here, but eh, it's Lifeline. Lifeline pretty much looks good in everything. Path, There's Pathfinder here. Like, what is this? A total not... You know what she looks like? She looks like that anime... Well, it wasn't an anime. It was a 3D fucking show. Probably none of you remember, but it's a bunch of it's a computerized. It came out in the '90s. It was a computerized animation show, and it was 3D out. But the characters were green, like they were human people, but they were green, and they had a robot dog that was red. It was basically a pit bull. Pathfinder. I'm I like this skin only because it's showing detail. Like if he's human, the muscles and stuff like that. There's a Valkyrie in the background, I think. Ramparts is pretty cool, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't choose those colors, but eh. Let's see what we got for Octane here. Octane. Octane's is probably the coolest skin out of all of them. Look at that. Bangalore looks terrible. Let's have fun, friend. Yeah, that's just a rock of love. Okay, there's Mirage. Mirage has the same outfit as usual. Nothing's really changed for anybody. That's pretty stupid. I'm going to check out the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? We're going to go ahead and check out the fucking, what are the updates for this? Okay, here we go. Rampart Big Mod. Hey, look at that. Mod. M-A-U-D-E. That says mod. 
take the D E L and put X, you got Mox. So it's not Mooks, it's Mox. All right, after a few rough starts in previous shops, Rampart is pulling out the big guns with the mod shop of her dreams. Finally, she'll be able to show the Outlands and Big Sister what she's always capable of. I don't know who Big Sister is, but it, she seems familiar. That's pretty cool. I'm glad they didn't destroy the city completely. Just this useless area became... That's pretty cool. Rampart Arena's takeover. I'm not interested in arenas. Arena sucks. This is cool. That is very creative. Her... I mean, I won't, I won't get this heirloom, obviously, but that's pretty cool. And we get a wingman skin. That wingman skin looks pretty cool. Triple take, decent. I'm, I'm digging these fucking these keychains here. I like these, guys, especially this keychain. Oh, look, we get a collection event shit. I'm not digging that one for Bloodhound. I don't like it. Fuses actually looks pretty cool. I actually like fuses. I didn't even, cybernetic pack. He looks like a monster. A mutated monster. Revenants, I don't care about that one. It's ugly. Mine's better. Look at that fusey right there. See? That's a cool... That's Yeah, that's a really cool skin. Fusies is probably the best one there. I'm not digging this. I don't like it. Balances. Oh, here we go. Rampart. Sheila has gone mobile. Rampart will now be able to run around with Sheila out and shoot while walking. The spin up is longer and she only gets one magazine in this mode. Okay, that seems fair. That seems fair. Yeah, yeah, that seems fair. But it's not as powerful as people think it is, though. That's the thing. I mean, if you land on your shots, that is. So, yeah, I think it's fair. Once Sheila is out, you can put it away and put it back out until you run out of ammo or hit the cooldown time. Huh. That didn't make sense to me, but okay. At any point, you can still place Sheila down... For your teammates to use, once placed, it has infinite reloads and acts just like the previous version. You cannot pick it back up. That's kind of stupid that you can't pick it back up. But whatever. It Obviously, they think this is going to be an extremely powerful. Because if you could get them in like a... if You you know, one of the houses out there in World's Edge, they have stairs, right? So if you could get Sheila down there with the stairs, they got nowhere to run. So I can see why they would do that, but it's still stupid. Oh, no. Revenant VFX similar to the pulse on Loba's placement added an increased visibility for when the totem is placed nearby you fucking assholes like why do they they just keep fucking with Revenant so much they already got a sound effects when you're in your shadow mode now you're gonna take give them oh look stop connecting him to Loba that's I know they're not but they just said when Loba puts her fucking her thing down, it makes a beam. Now Revenant's getting one. Like, stop connecting them. Fuck them. Who cares? They're, they're, to me, in my opinion, their story's over. He's forever going to live life, and he's not going to kill her. Like, motherfucker. I hate that shit, man. They're fucking up Rev. Oh, damn pros. Octane. Reduce jump pad. Horizon distance by 10% to 15%. Reduce the rate of Octane stin regen from one5 to 1.0 HP for second. What? Oh, okay. My problem is, if anything, Octi needs to die if he uses all of his stin or all of it to his health. He needs to die. That shit just gets annoying. That's one change I would give him. You could keep the jump pad distance. In fact, you can increase it to 20%. But if he uses all of his stim, he should, you know, and he's down to one health and he uses the stim, he should die. Just saying. When but when Bloodhound pings a clue from their passive, it will show their teammates in quick chat how long ago the event took place. Fucking finally. Why wasn't that a fucking thing in the beginning? Bow check compound bow. Draw speed slightly reduced from 0 0.56 to 0 0.54. Are you kidding me? Why would you? What? Arrows per brick increase from 14 to 16. What? Arrows per inventory stack increased to 28 to 32. Okay, Devil. They're. What? Why did they fuck with the bow? It's not even popular. Not anymore. Per brick increased. I don't get that. I never heard that. Per brick. It doesn't do 14 or 16 damage. What the fuck? Whatever. Idiots. Maybe I'm the idiot too. Hemlock. Reduced hit fire spread. Hip fire reset slightly faster. Eh, I don't really give a shit about the hemlock. It can suck ass. 
Shatter Cats, Boat Check. Damage per pellet increased across a draw strength. Short draw 4 to 6. Medium draw 7 to 9. Full draw 11 to 12. Huh. Shatter Caps 30 30. ADS strife speed increased to shotgun strafe speed. And the Shatter Caps are... I didn't even know that. I thought it was... Hmm. I thought the strafing was different. Charge pellet damage multiplier increased 35 to 50. Wow. 3030 is going to be a strong fucking gun. L Star cooldown time slightly increased. Uh, okay. Overheat lens re repl re replacement tight time slightly increased. Rounds before overheating reduced to the base of all energy magazine tiers. What the fuck? Arena's price adjustment. I don't care about arenas, but they're increasing it because apparently it's fucking popular. Ugh. I mean, I only used it because I thought it was unpopular, but whatever. Fuck, they're really fucking up guns. Shotgun the EVA in the Mozambique headshot damage multiplier reduced. Or, wait. Multiplier reduced from 1.5 to 1.25, bringing the line of which Peacekeeper and Mastiff. Are you. What? Since when did it do. What? I don't remember any Mozambique or EVA doing that much damage to it. And if it did, that's fucking rare. Like, are you kidding? That's so rare if you can even get a shotgun shot in the head. Like, I've used the Peacekeeper and shot somebody in the head. It only does, like, 98 damage. When you can just do the whole body and do a fucking good 101 damage. God, this game is suck. ADS charge from triple take decreased to 1.0 to 0 0.8. Why? Let's see. Quality of life updates. Shortened out the blue. Wait, what? Shortened the out of bounds timer from 30 seconds to 15 seconds. Oh, okay. That's uh, okay. That's fine. Your timer should reset after being respawned. Swapping the red to a gold shield with more health is no longer required for that long press. Okay, that's good. The red shield shouldn't exist anyways, but that's good. Evil shields and death boxes now show their health. Uh, shield swapping needs to go away. <laughs> I'm just going to say it at that. I don't care what you fucking people say. Early lever warning has been improved to help people from accidentally leaving before their party is dead. You know, you need to hold. The, now you need to hold to confirm it. Highlighted it is different colored than the promo. Okay, that's cool because some people do accidentally quit. I don't know how you can accidentally quit. With a PC, but whatever. Add character portraits to detective wedgets for. This is stupid. Okay, well, this is kind of a neat, a neat idea, but it's actually pretty stupid. Well, the reason why I say it's stupid is because if you can't check your surroundings in the game or understand when you're getting, because, I mean, when you get scanned by Bloodhound, you can clearly tell you got scanned by Bloodhound. I mean, it doesn't take a, a five-year-old to. You know what I mean? Like, you see the orange. And when you're being detected and you don't see a light, then it's crypto. You know, do you even get a detection when, uh, when fucking... What's her name? Do you even get a detection when fucking uh, Valkyrie flies in the air? I don't think so. Well, do you get a detection notice? I don't know. Like, you could see... You can see fucking everybody's detection. You know, you can tell who's detecting you. So stupid. This is dumb. What is it? Fix the bug where streamer mode wouldn't analyze the names in the scoreboard under Riza. Fuck streamer mode. Half these idiots who don't even have a stream don't even use it. Well, <sighs> I know I'm just talking shit at this point, at this moment, because this fucking this is a dumb idea. Like they clearly fuck up the game so much, but yet I keep playing it and I don't even spend money on it. So whatever. Well, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this town takeover. I love Rampart. I've been using Rampart not a lot lately, but I like using her. Now I get the feeling she's going to be a fan favorite, and I'm going to hate her. Because <laughs> that's just the way I roll. Well, let me know what you guys think. Let's talk about it in the comics. Comics. Comment. Leave a damn comment about your ass. I don't care. Let's talk about your ass. Ew, no, I don't want to talk about your ass unless you're a woman.